Welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at multiplication. What we're going to do is progress towards doing a sum like this, but we're going to take it one step at a time. So let's go back to single digit multiplication first. Right, let's get straight into it. When we are doing larger multiplication sums, we write them like this, with the larger number on top and the smaller number on the bottom. It's quite important that we don't forget the value of these digits. It's not just a two, it's two tens. So we have to label the units, the tens, and so on. When we have a sum like this, with a single digit number on the bottom. It's quite easy. First, we multiply the units by the units. So 3 multiplied by 4 is equal to 12. Now watch carefully how we write that 12. This is where place value is very important. When we look at that number, 12, there are two parts to it. There are the two units and there is the 1, 10. Now only the units can be placed in the unit column. So we can put that in here. The 1, 10 we are going to have to carry over to the tens column like this. We'll need him later. So now we need to multiply the tens column. So 3 multiplied by 2 is 6. But Wait, don't forget about that 110 we carried over. We add this on after we multiply. So we get 6 plus 110 is 7 tens. We write this in the tens column under the line. To show that we've added that carried over number, a little 1, we're going to draw a little shield around him to protect him from being added by accident again in the future. And that's really all there is to it. The only small difference is when you have a sum like this. All of the steps are the same until you get to the very last stage. So 2 multiplied by 9 is 18. We write down the unit and carry the 10. Then we say 2 multiplied by 8 is 16, and when we add the carried number, we get 17. Now in this case, we write down the 7 in the tens column, and carry the 1 to the next column, which is the hundreds column. Now, as you can see, there is nothing in the hundreds column, so there are 0. 2 multiplied by 0 is 0. And when we add the 1 that we carried, we'll get 0 plus 1, which is equal to 1. So we write that 1 in the hundreds column, like this. And that's all there is to it. Pause the video and answer these questions on a piece of paper now. I'll put the answers up when you're finished. Ready? Okay, how'd you get on? It's really important that you understand how to multiply using the short multiplication method because this is going to become really important when we move on to long multiplication in the next video.